Hey guys, this is JJ. Welcome back to JJ's Hobby Power. So today, there's no surprise there. As you have seen in my um, previous post, I have decided to get my third LCD model Honda Civic Type R FK8. And this one is in metallic blue color. Um, you can also see the Nighthawk Black version in the background. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, the Champion White have to be returned to get a replacement. So I'm still waiting for that white version to be returned to me. Then I will have the three Civic Type R together um, in the display cabinet. So I'm not sure if you guys um, like this color. Um, I wasn't 100% sure. On the color I was debating on whether to get the metallic blue or the gray color um, but I am not disappointed um, in receiving the blue color um, as you can see it is very beautiful um, it has a metallic blue undertone it is very shiny and it does have a lighter blue glow if you if you look into the paintwork which is really really cool and i think this color also really suit the civic type r um, i've seen some real car review of the uh, civic type r fk8 and they were also done in this metallic color um, so Maybe that is part of the reason why I have selected this color um, over the other color, um, but that's just my uh, personal preference. Um, so as you are probably aware, um, LCD models made this 2021 version Civic Type R FK8 in six different colors, um, starting with red, yellow, blue, gray, black, and the champion white um, in my recent post i mentioned that uh, my next video is going to be a review of the metallic blue which is the one that you can see in front of you and i also mentioned you know out of the six color there is one color to avoid so here it is um, i honestly believe you know if you are thinking of getting an LCD model Civic Type R FK8 and you cannot decide which color to go for um, you know the easiest thing to do is to pick your favorite color and if you are a serious uh, model collector you should always look back on the actual car um, to see whether the color is actually accurate and whether the manufacturer actually made that specific um, color code so the reason why i suggest that is because out of the six color available from lcd models um, there is one color which is not accurate at all and that color being the yellow version um, as i mentioned in my previous two review video of the night hot black type r and the champion white type r or championship white um, Honda um, as you will um, the yellow one is limited edition to 1020 um, in the real car um, of which I believe there are 240 um, which are right hand drive this is the information that I have found from um, googling and YouTube videos um, so among the 240 right-hand drive Civic Type R in the limited yellow color, only 200 of them are in Japan because they are right-hand drive as well. 20 of them has gone to Australia and then another 20 has gone into United Kingdom. So um, I will be looking forward to see the odd 20 um in the uk hopefully i will be able to bump into 
one or two of them. Um, I've already seen the various color, um, namely the black, the blue, the white, um, the gray and the red um, on the street already. They are fairly common. Um, but back to the subject, um, why I would suggest to avoid the yellow limited edition color is because firstly um, the yellow color is not limited production on the LCD model um, they made just as many as per the you know all the other color like the one you you, you can see in front of you the, the black and the blue um, the one of the main reason why I have decided not to get the yellow one is because the oh well despite the the yellow color is pretty accurate on the model comparing to the real car there are a few areas which lct should have paid more attention to the color scheme um, when they were assembling or painting the model um, in the yellow edition to be a limited edition rather than just changing the overall color from black to blue to championship white and then to the yellow limited edition um, all the other colors are fine um, as they are but the yellow limited edition if you look at the google um, image search you will find out that the yellow limited edition not the entire body is painted in yellow the side mirror they are not color coded to the body so on the yellow limited edition one the side mirrors are black they do not have the um, yellow shield or the cover on the back side of the mirror also the front air intake on top of the bonnet that is also painted black rather than with the matching color to the body the yellow limited edition also have a black top. The, the small diffuser above the rear windscreen is color matching, so it's fine to be yellow. And then the alloy wheels for all the other standard Type R FK8, they come with this glossy black alloy wheels whereas the yellow limited edition they come with forged alloy and it shouldn't be glossy it should be a slightly matte color and apart from that there's also some uh, differences uh, when you have the body panels open which I will go through in just a moment um, I'll just let you guys um, have a quick look around of the blue edition. The paintwork is really amazing and I really, really like the color. Um, I really can't pick um, my favorite color out of the, the three that I have purchased, um, the black, the blue and the championship white. Um, I liked all of them. I think they, they just look good together. Um, so let me just stop the spinning top and then I will pick up the model car to show you more details about it. Okay, so first of all, you will see the overlook, sorry, the overall look is exactly the same. Um, this one comes with a very clean number plate, unlike the championship white that has a glue stain. Um, everything else seems pretty good on this car. The paintwork is, as I mentioned, is very amazing in the metallic blue color. Um, I have had a very good look around of the model and similar to the black night of black version it is almost perfect um, so I'm very pleased with this um, metallic blue color um, it's just a bit unfortunate when I received the championship white color um, there are a few 
um, faults, which I'm not too happy about. Um, this one is very well made. All the logos are perfectly aligned. I'm very happy with this model. The hat lamps are pretty clear without any scratches, which is good. The front splitter is pretty well executed as well. Um, one thing I've noticed when I had um, the blue and the black type R together, I've noticed on the lower bumper splitter, the carbon fiber pattern, the the left side of the car, the way they apply the carbon fiber um, decal, they somehow apply it uh, in the opposite direction. I'm not quite sure why they don't just go in that direction of the carbon fiber pattern, but that is pointing the opposite direction and I thought it was just my model and then I compare the black one which has the same thing as the blue one and I also <clears throat> excuse me I've also compared that to my championship white version they all have the same um, opposite pattern on the left hand side of the lower bumper splitter but it is okay, it doesn't distract the car from a distance. If I don't mention it, you probably would never notice um, the difference. So let me open the front bonnet. And I will have the bonnet propped up okay so just so you guys know um, if you're planning to get the yellow um, limited edition of the type R apart from the body color dimension earlier by mean of the side mirror they're supposed to be black, the roof is supposed to be black, the front air scope area should be black. So those are the external factor and also the, the wheels supposed to be a matte black color um, to replicate the forged alloy wheels rather than the standard ones. Um, one thing that when you look underneath the bonnet, the yellow version aka the limited version um, on both sides of the engine bay so the left hand side where you see the windscreen washer cap that side and the, and my right hand side there um, being the yellow limited edition version is it supposed to be a lightweight lightweight version um, and in the real car they have stripped out this bit of plastic as well as the one on the left hand side so you should be able to see there is a um, opening on both sides that you could see right through to the underside of the engine bay that's point number one point number two because the yellow version um, as the limited edition and the uh, lightweight version, you also shouldn't be seeing this half silver and half black supposed to be the, the piping because that is for the air conditioning. In the yellow limited edition lightweight version, the real car doesn't have AC, so that pipe shouldn't be there. 
So there's two things underneath the bonnet that LCD model should have made a specific molding for the yellow version rather than sharing the same engine bay as per the other color of the normal Type R. So moving on, looking at the driver seat. So the interior is identical to all the other color. So you get the black and red trim with the silver gear knob, some buttons and the pedals. They are all painted in silver. So let me open up the passenger side as well. So you can have a better look of the front interior. It is very detailed. So another thing um, to consider if you are getting the yellow limited edition version. In the real car, trying to save weight, they have also removed the, the screen and you don't have the, the air conditioning option, obviously. So that screen area would have been blocked out with a black panel rather than having it like a screen. So I wish LCD model would have done something slightly different um, on the yellow version as well. And one thing I've noticed um, recently when I was fully examining the interior um, of the Type R, um, albeit this is a um, left-hand drive version, whereas in UK we drive on the right-hand side, but looking at photos, there should be a engine start-stop button here, which is missing in the model. Um, it's not just on this blue version. I've checked all three colors of mine and the button is clearly not there. So um, I probably would just leave it or if I really want to correct it, I could always just try and um, take the car apart and then maybe apply a decal or just hand paint a silver button um, in the area. So on the left hand drive version, the button should be somewhere here. Um, what else? I think the interior pretty much stayed the same regardless of whether it's a normal version or the yellow limited edition or the lightweight version. Um, I mean, if you guys have noticed there's any other difference um, in terms of the, the look of the limited edition, then feel free to leave your uh, comment in the comment box to let me know so I could educate myself as well. But apart from the um, aforementioned, um, I can't remember what else um, I've noticed that are different in the yellow limited edition compared to the standard one. Everything should be exactly the same. Um, if you're really picky um, in terms of the accuracy of, of the model, one thing I've noticed is uh, if you look at the rear brake calipers or just take the left side, for example, um, in the model, the whole caliper is painted in red. Uh, in the real car, only the the center section should be red, and then the outer lips should be in silver. 
but that's easily fixed you can easily take the wheels out and just paint the outside of the brake caliper in a silver color to make it more accurate it should be easily done um, luckily with the lcd model the wheel they do come off fairly easily so what you need to do is let me shut the bonnet so if you flip the car upside down you should be able to just pull the wheel out not with a lot of force the wheel should just come off let me try again like that you just twist the wheel out so let me show you it's like um, a cap that sits around uh, the screw and there's a trough there so you just need to line them up and then press it in and it will fasten itself nicely and then obviously to remove you just need to pull it outwards like straight and then it will also give you the chance of perhaps cleaning off the thing the fingerprint on the shiny brake disc as i mentioned in my championship white version it does have some fingerprint from the person uh, assembling the the model car this one seems to be cleaned all around i'm sure it's the same as the other side yeah it's pretty clean so just in case if you have noticed your shiny brake disc has got fingerprint on it you can easily remove the wheel and then you can just clean off any fingerprint or any marks on the brake disc and then just put the wheel back on while well, we have the front wheel removed we can see a little bit of extra details here so you can see the the steering column just there and you can also see let me zoom in sorry you can also see the suspension coil so they are real working coil which is really cool and then you can see the red brembo brake caliper as well which is really cool so let me put the wheel back on so you just have this wheel steering straight and then just aligned it properly and then press it in like that and then just to make sure it goes in properly give it another press and that is it and it is the same for the rear wheels as well they come off the exact same way Um, when I was talking to my friend um, they said they really want me to take another video showing exactly what I mean by the rear wheel suspension links and the suspension arm all works together rather than just one big piece of molded plastic so I'll do my best so as you can see that's the suspension coil there so that's a real spring 
you can see the the hinge here there is a screw in between so that also allow the lower arm to move and also there's another hinge right here that allow the arm to move as well as you can see and same as the links here and there they all move independently like the real car same as the other side obviously Which is very very cool very detailed and I am giving LCD full credit for providing us a model with full working suspension this is super cool as I mentioned in my other video the exhaust tips are made out of metal just to give it a more realistic look I'm very happy with this model um, there's not many faults on this model car um, if I'm being super super picky and I have to pick something on this model if you look closer to the headlamp I wish they have cut the headlamp a little bit neater but this is not too bad it's, at least this is smooth and it's the same on the other side from a distance it's, it's not that obvious and so that will be my point one and point two would be let me see right it would be the small Honda badge in the middle which is slightly off center I'm not sure if, we'll, if you guys can see what I mean. It's slightly shifted to the right. And all the other wheels are fine. So that's really are the only two things that I could pick out from the car for not being perfect and is very minor is hardly hardly noticeable I just wish the hat lamps is a little bit more tidy like the black one so with my experience of having the LCD model in three different colors um, the conditioned is the best in the Nighthawk black because this model is is almost perfect I cannot find any fault on this and uh, this blue one is just mainly the the pack marks at the front headlight casing and the small Honda logo on the front left or driver side wheel not being perfectly aligned in the center but that is okay um, I probably will try and position the car to show in to show the the right hand side 
um, but those two areas are just very minor um, issues um, it doesn't bother me too much um, comparing to the championship white version that white one to me is just not acceptable and I just can't wait to get the the replacement of the championship white um, to to arrive so that I can put the three colors um, side by side um, if you guys have the championship white version um, let me know um, what you think of the condition of of that specific color um, I'm asking because uh, when I spoke to my friend um, who happened to have the Type R FK8 in grey and white um, his championship white um, Civic Type R is also not close to perfect there are some defects on his as well so I'm not sure if it is the assembling team that assemble the the white version um, that is not as high standard as per the other color or is it just somehow that batch of the model are just not as high quality as the others I'm not 100% sure but if you do um, notice your championship white version not being close to perfect then let me know as well um, maybe I can contact um, LCD models to see you know whether they can do a bit more work um, in terms of the quality control on the white version especially the new Civic Type R FL5 is now available in the real car so I'm sure we will be able to get the model version um, in the upcoming years so hopefully LCD will be able to um, push out another very high quality model um, for the new Honda Civic Type R FL5 version um, I will definitely be getting um, the FL5 in white as well I think the, the white really um, represent the Japanese Honda Civic Type R um, and you never know if I do see um, the alternative color being the nice color to add to my collection then I might have the second one as well but for now I think I am happy to settle with just the three colors of the FK8 Civic Type R um, I mean I don't know um, I might get the yellow version and then I'll just do the customization myself to make it more accurate to the limit edition but I probably won't because I don't want to have too many Type R model in my collection um, I would rather you know spend the money on um, another manufacturer um, or I'll just wait for the new FL5 Type R to be available um, either later this year or maybe um, next year which is 2024 now um, so we will see um, but so far I'm very impressed with the LCD model Civic Type R FK8 um, I just remember um, something I wanted to show you guys um, This model, you can see the the red seat belt and the photo edge seat belt buckle better because that buckle is not sitting flush to the seat. So you can see it is actually a separate piece, and the red is just a red fabric, which is really cool. And obviously, they do have red seat belt. For the front seats as well you can see through the windscreen that's the seat, red seat belt for the front and the silver buckle again on the other side the red seat belt and the silver buckle is here and you can also see the red stitching in the center console 
It's all very detailed. You could also see the carbon fiber at the back of the front seat. So very cool. And I just remembered one last thing the yellow limited edition lightweight version when you open the boot lid you don't see the full carpeting as a matter of fact you will see there is a a hole down there um, i'm not sure, entirely sure whether it was for the spare wheel but you definitely don't have the full carpeting um, or the full compartment like the normal type r in the yellow version you should see there the cutout here about the same size as the wheel so if lcd wants to correct the current yellow version then that's another area that they could improve on so I think that's all the, the points that I could pick out on the yellow limited edition. Um, I think that's about it. I, I can't point out any other thing. Um, maybe just one more. Um, I, I'm not sure w whether that is what you get in the real car or it's an optional extra I cannot remember um, but looking at the uh, brochure that I have um, from when I was owning the the black version Civic Type R this spoiler is supposed to be um, carbon fiber you should be able to see the carbon fiber pattern but one thing I'm not sure is whether it was an optional extra or that applies to all Civic Type R regardless of what color and what spec um, you have chosen for your Civic Type R. So you will have to check it yourself and everything else I think LCD have done a very good job in replicating the Civic Type R FK8. And I'm sure you know you you guys will understand exactly how much I like this model um, because you know I went out my way to get three different color options. You know, I must have really, really liked this model a lot to be investing my money three times on an LCD model of the exact same um, model as well. So I think that is it, guys. I hope you find this video useful. If you are really considering of getting one of this um, FK8 Type R, especially if you are considering whether you should choose the yellow version. I hope you find this um, video informative and it helps you to make a decision on whether you could ignore all of the aforementioned um, that is not correctly replicate on the yellow um, LCD model or you will still go ahead to buy the yellow one and then you do the customization yourself to make it um, accurate so um, I will leave it there I uh, hope you guys um, have a good day and if you have got any questions um, about the LCD uh, Civic Type R FK8 models then feel free to um, leave your comment in the comment box below um, if you enjoy this video and find it useful then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and also ring the notification bell 
and you will be notified when I have my next video um, available shortly. Um, that is it for, for now. I hope you guys have a good day or good evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.